What work of art would you want to live in? Oh, wow. Um, oh, what would that be? Would it be something at, like, Dia Beacon? Maybe one of those weird uh, rooms that have all the gray paint that's a reflection of myself, uh, so, I so I can constantly see the reflection of myself <laughs> all day long. Well, I I'm a, a fan of uh, Lempicas, and I love that one where she's got the fast car and the hood on. I'd live in that. <laughs> Um, you're in luck because every time I come to MoMA I am absolutely at my most beautiful and so consequently I would just move into the museum that way I would get to enjoy working and living and sleeping with some of the most seductive and beautiful and exquisite art in the world I wouldn't mind living in Matisse's red studio the Louvre I've seen that and I think it's just the best thing ever it just looks so Great. Well, the heating bill would be astronomical. It's ridiculous, but then I wouldn't mind. I mean, if I could live there, I'd be able to pay it. There you go. Yeah, Rick to Betty. Because it's... Um, I was looking at it the other day in London, I realized it's uh, based on a photographic mistake. You know, on a camera mistake where the camera focuses on the nearest thing and it hits her shoulder and the rest of it drifts out of focus. And uh, the beautiful realization of photographic mistakes are just as valuable as photographic rights. Probably move into the Mona Lisa because at least I know I get a hot girl to fool around with. I would move into a Mondrian, into the Pient Ocean. <laughs> Is it Yashi Kapoor? Kapoor, who did that enormous installation in London? That was this huge, fabulous, like cornucopia. That's where I would like to live. Reporting live from the MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art. This has been Andrew Andrew stepping and repeating.